Hey everybody, it's Nancy and welcome back to the vlog. I'm in the car right now at the Starbucks drive-thru because it's definitely one of those days where you need some caffeine in your system. I'm gonna order a vanilla latte with the blonde roast and it's so good. And that is what we need for today. I feel like I haven't caught up with you guys in so long even though I shared my most recent travel vlog with you guys when we were in, uh, I was gonna say Tokyo, we were in Toronto. Totally wrong destination. And I feel like I've been so MIA but sometimes life stuff just happens with like family or just things going on in your home and it just makes everything kind of take a back seat so I'm just really going with the flow that has really been my lesson and my mantra just go with the flow for the past few months because it's, it's just been funky so let me know if you guys have felt that way before too so the big thing that happened is that we had a water leak at our house almost a month and a half ago and we were out of water for about like oh it's getting a little shaky here we were out of water for like two weeks trying to like figure out the plumbing issue and stuff like that and then we found out that the whole entire kitchen wall was damaged with water so we were tearing down the walls and everything trying to patch it up and we realized that the damage was so huge that my parents decided to do a full-on kitchen renovation which I'm really excited about too because it's like a blessing in disguise at the same time now that we get to get a new kitchen my mom has always wanted a new kitchen for our family and if you guys didn't know John and I still live with my parents oh I will continue the story after I ordered my Starbucks Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. Hi, good, how are you? Can I get a grande um, vanilla latte but the blonde roast? Thank you. Okay, so like I was saying, we've had water damage on our walls and now it's turned into a full-blown kitchen renovation, which I'm super excited about, but we haven't gone through like a huge renovation or construction like this at our house before. I think my whole entire family is trying to find um, their normal again because we haven't been able to cook and things like this really makes you miss home-cooked meals and also appreciating water and just all the, the things that we have in our daily lives. That has been what's going on. It's been a little crazy. So I am back home now. I feel like today's outfit is a little bit funky, but not too funky. It's like San Diego when it's raining. It's pretty cold out right now, so I have a sweater on. It's almost kind of have like a turtleneck action going on. Do you hear the dogs? They are they're right down here. Let me show you. And then on the bottom, just have some black jeans and these sandals from Target, which I love. Look at the Hi, Bender. Hi, Squirt. What a nice stretch you have going on right there. Hmm? Yes. Yes. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the vlog vendor. Hi, Squirt. You having a good day? You a little tired? Ready for your afternoon nap? So if you guys remember my cleaning and decluttering video, I posted that like a couple weeks ago or even last month, but it was about cleaning out my old bedroom because I'm turning it into my office. I want to show you guys the transformation so far because with um, the whole kitchen renovations, we've been able to have like a dumpster right on property, on property, that sounds so proper, right in front of our house. And we've been able to like get rid of just junk and just unwanted furniture and things like that. So I've been able to clear out a lot of my room so I can't wait to show you let's head over there right now okay guys you have been warned of this mess before but welcome to my old purple bedroom this is where I used to film um, when I first started my channel but I've been able to clear out so much let me turn the camera around and show you guys because it's still a hot mess but it's progress okay everybody brace your eyes for this it looks a little bit crazier than before but not as much because if you guys watch that video there used to be a bed here and then there was a dresser right here but we've been able to get rid of that and put it in the dumpster i've had that for years since i was like in elementary school middle school what are you guys doing over there but yeah now that we've been able to clear out a lot of the big furniture we're gonna clear out all of this stuff a lot of these bags are gonna go to donation which is what i'm gonna be doing probably in my next video that I'm gonna show you guys when I declutter the space but yeah lots of progress I'm considering this progress so there is a lot of construction happening downstairs I figured I would hang out in this room right now and just like catch up with you guys take the time to sit down and just chat I already love the light that's in this room it makes me so excited and so nostalgic being back in here because this used to be my old bedroom and this is where I used to film my videos. I hope you guys like the lighting here. Let me know if you like it. But later on, I'm gonna paint these walls white and clean up this whole space and I just want it to be functional again and just create a creative space. Does that sound repetitive? 
There's a doggy butt right there. This is Squirt right here. Come on, Squirt, say hi. Hello, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> yes, and they love it too here. But yeah, I'm just so excited just to get it functional again. And I think the hardest part about clearing stuff up and out is just like the um, insane amount of stuff that I have and a lot of it is like stuff I've had since high school and it makes me feel so nostalgic going through it even middle school I found old school pictures and just like all these miscellaneous things that are super personal but I'm trying to figure out a new home for them right now while I clean up this whole entire space so let me know if you guys have gone through cleaning out your own spaces where you found like possibly prom dresses or just really old school things and you have no idea what to do with them. So as I am sitting here in a sea of like my total mess, I am just so excited the big furniture is out of the way. I feel like that's probably the hardest part because Johnny and I were just carrying all the heavy furniture down the stairs and that in itself was just a pain and a workout because it was just so heavy. But I feel like now that that's out of the way, we can like easily shift things around and clean it up. And I'm just so excited to bring you guys along on this journey. I know right now is not like the ideal backdrop, but I just wanted to share with you guys what it looks like the current situation i currently have you guys propped up on a suitcase right now so i could spin you around but i mean look at this and i honestly feel like this room has been a reflection of everything i've been going through in terms of growth and just how i've been feeling i really hear people say like when like your space is really a reflection of how you are on the inside and if your space is really chaotic sometimes that means there's something chaotic that you're dealing with inside too bender what are you doing <laughs> sorry guys um bender's right here and he's just like snuggling but i feel like that is so true for a while i've had this room where it's super messy and it was almost like a reflection of how I felt messy in my own mind because if I don't clear out my surroundings, I feel like I can't really clear away what I'm thinking on the inside and just being able to think clearly. And it has such a big impact on your life. I feel like this is getting super deep, but it's so true because we need to like take care of our minds too and declutter it. Decluttering our space, decluttering our mind. And I think that's the process or the um, stage of life that I'm currently in. And let me know if you guys relate to that too. To, I feel like when you just let things pile up, it gets messy. Everything just tends to get really foggy and you can't think straight. And I also wanted to just touch base with you guys because I feel like I haven't talked about this in a while um, of my journey of me leaving my nine to five job almost a year ago coming this September and just where like the journey has been. I feel like the start of the year, I gave myself a really hard time of and a lot of guilt for feeling not as productive as I should be and sometimes it comes and goes and I still feel that way and it just goes to show how much we could get in our own head and we really need to take the time to acknowledge the progress that we've made so far and if you guys are feeling the same boat definitely give yourself a lot of props for whatever journey you guys are on because it is difficult Find, trying to be your own boss and figure things out is so hard and like after you look aside like the glamorous part of being able to work from home and like have your doggies just like chilling right here it's really hard to manage your own time your own expectations and yourself I feel like deep down you just get really hard on yourself and i feel like i'm trying to talk serious and here you are here here's a cute little face right here um just to brighten the day but i feel like it's all a learning experience being able to just like go through life and not have these crazy expectations and just kind of take things as they come and figure out the lessons learned and then move on and grow is probably the best way and sometimes when you want something so bad to happen and all these external things keep happening and you feel like you're just getting disrupted in your flow it can be super hard and i think the lesson learned there is to not let it affect you so much and obviously we can't control external things that are happening to us but we 100 percent can control how we feel and our attitude about it so i've been trying to stay positive and just go with the flow and know that everything is gonna work out in due time but yeah i just wanted to sit down i'm actually literally sitting down chatting with you guys and touching base with you all because you guys mean so much to me and this channel means so so much to me it's the one thing that i noticed that i've always gravitated towards no matter what i was doing whether it was school trying to figure out my major or just like life and jobs in general youtube has been that one thing for me that has stayed there and i want to give it my all and be able to provide content that you guys love 
love and also being able to connect with you guys because I honestly feel like we are friends and this lens right here just really connects us and I am just so amazed at the world of YouTube and social media and what it can do, all the good that it can do. So I really want that for my channel here and just be able to be open with you guys and truly connect. Welcome to our new kitchen, everybody. Ta-da! <laughs> this is the current situation. If you guys remember from previous vlogs, we had kind of like a orangey wood tone cabinet. It was like your standard um, cabinet build when we bought this house. So now all that is completely ripped out. There's an echo going on here. Our island is no more. There's the old fridge. And that is the current situation of this space so we just had some cabinets get delivered it's hanging out in our garage right now so hopefully installation will start within like the next week or two my parents and i are gonna go shop for appliances and we're like doing like touch up paint and stuff but i'm so excited it's so open and we picked out white cabinets so i'm so excited about that we're gonna have a white kitchen but i honestly can't wait to have our kitchen back because my parents love to cook john and i love to cook we have family meals at home all the time so i cannot wait to get back into the kitchen and make some meals i think the first meal we might have at home is hot pot we love doing homemade hot pot at home and i'm just so excited but yeah it's really bare this is this is what it looks like okay bender you can come in where's squirt let me know where is your brother so I just fed the dogs and you finish up a little bit of laundry and I can't wait for Johnny to get home because he is bringing home Thai food. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. I feel like I haven't eaten a lot today, but he's gonna bring home Penang curry and spicy noodles and Thai iced tea and we're just gonna have a nice Thai food date at home. So hopefully he'll be home within like the next hour or so. He brought back some food. We got some Thai food to go. I'm so excited. We're gonna have a Thai food day at home. We have some spicy noodles, Thai iced tea, and some Penang curry. Yummy! Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So it is the next day now from the clip you just saw, but I want to end the vlog. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every single week. I hope you guys are having the most wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.